Hi, my name is Fiona and I'm from Batch 3 of the AI Apprentice Program. I graduated from NUS with a degree in statistics and subsequently I joined a consulting firm as a data analyst. Currently, I'm working as a research assistant in the field of natural language processing at NTU. My previous role as a data analyst needed me to gather requirements from stakeholders to generate an analytical report. Definitely, I've been learning a lot, but as a mathematical fresh graduate, I felt the need to build up on a stronger technical foundation if I want to excel in this field. I started taking online courses, but there are too many resources available and I'm not sure where's the best place to go about. And I happened to chance upon the AI AP and I thought it's a perfect fit. Not only do I get two months of self-directed classroom learning environment along with mentorship, but there's also a seven month of industrial project attachment where I get to directly apply the technical knowledge that I've picked up. As an AI apprentice, I collaborated on an end-to-end -end research project which provided me a first-hand experience in not just modeling, but also building the data pipeline and deploying it as an API. Also, the empirical process in trying to understand how an industrial expert thinks and finding the best model that can automate the part of that human work introduced me to a range of machine learning and deep learning models and also increased my interest in research. Now, my work as a research assistant is largely similar to best when I was an AI apprentice, just that I focus more in depth in the fundamentals of the algorithms. To be honest, the 9 months program was tough initially as I do not have an extensive background in programming. However, my statistical knowledge did come into handy as I was able to grasp learning content quickly. But there wasn't a time where I feel like giving up. In fact, the challenges and obstacles along the way motivated me as ultimately what I seek to take away from the program was a learning experience. Physically wise, I do feel a little out of place, but other than that, not really. Because at AISG, we were all given equal opportunity to speak up and take up roles. In fact, I do appreciate the effort AISG has put in to increase the presence of women by allowing us to present to visiting guests and sharing of our experiences with female students through community involvement projects. For my fellow ladies out there who are keen to explore this exciting field of AI, I would say why not give it a try? Don't be afraid to ask because there are plenty of people out there who are very willing to share their experiences and help you out. As long as you carry the right attitude, never give up in learning and always giving your best, I'm sure everything else will follow. Hi guys, uh, so welcome to the vlog. In this vlog, I'll be sharing with you guys some of my experiences as an apprentice in AI Singapore. I'll also be talking about what I was doing before joining the program and also what I'm currently doing now, which is after the program. So some reasons for me going to the program um, as a fresh grad was that really early on, I knew that I didn't want to do, want to do electrical en engineering. So when I graduated, I still didn't know what I wanted to do. And I thought that something that's similar to my degree um, would be data science. However, I didn't have a necessary um, skill sets to let myself in a data science job then. So I decided to um, try out this um, apprenticeship program to see if um, data science was the right fit for me. And I would say that uh, one advantage of um, getting into the program as a fresh grad is that you just have all these skills that's coming out from uni and so you, you can implement all these skills and knowledge that you have recently learned in the program which, which is something that people who are more experienced or go through work they might forget some of this uh, knowledge in uni as, especially if you're in a STEM field and all, and all this knowledge about your equations and your theories and stuff are going to come in handy if you are joining this apprenticeship program 
I waited for three months before I, I got into Gojek. So within that three months, I was trying to apply to, to Gojek and to a few other companies. And I wasn't in that much of a rush. I took my time to apply and I, I managed to land myself in a job at Gojek three months uh, after the apprenticeship ended. And uh, I sort of managed to take a break between the program and my first job. I would say like definitely. Yeah, because my only credentials was my bachelor's and master's degree in electrical and engineering. And those alone are not sufficient to land myself in a good data science job. Yeah, and AI Singapore really provides quite a good grounding for these skills. So they have this uh, eight weeks curriculum at the start, which is um, they teach you like the fundamentals in data science. And then after that, they bring you to this industry project where you get specialized into a certain um, field of data science. So in, in my case, I was doing computer vision back in AI Singapore for Silicon Valley based company. And we work on an object detection algorithm to, to detect like hands and feet and some dermatological conditions. And currently, my, what I'm working on in Gojek is something different. So it's on NLP. So they are actually really like different stuff, um, seemingly really different stuff in the field of data science. But there are underlying like concepts and basics that I've learned from AI Singapore that, that allowed me to make this like tran this transition. So it's not about just applying the packages, but also knowing what um, goes on like beneath them. My biggest takeaways is that um, like I'm sure that most people who are interested in data science already know is that. Data science is always a field that is constantly ex expanding. It's always new knowledge and theories to learn. So it's going to be, um, I mean, there are advantage and advantages and disadvantages to that, um, I'm sure. But I, but I think beneath all of this, my personal opinion is that having a strong fundamental in data science is really important. So regardless of what information comes and goes, um, there's always something some fundamentals that you know is always there and learning these fundamentals is important. Hi, so my name is Ching Heng. I graduated from the third batch of AIP. My degree was initially in chemical engineering from NUS uh, and I worked as a chemical engineer for about a year in the maritime and LNG sector. And right now, I am currently working as a data scientist within the maritime sector. Math, because with artificial intelligence, you have to be fairly familiar with linear algebra and math is multiplication, you know, that sort of thing. So as an engineer, I was already pretty familiar with it. So you don't have to know this right off the bat when you start, but it does help. It helped tremendously. In fact, my current job was secured through AI Singapore's job placement program. So, yes, tremendously advantageous. My biggest takeaway would probably be that you will spend 90% of your time chasing 10% of the out leaders. So, for my 100E, it was an NLP project. Uh, the model was not performing really well. In fact, it ran out of memory a lot, and we only discovered later it's because of a few articles within our training set that had either French or Cyrillic alphabets in it. So that's the sort of thing we can dig really, really deep to find out. I think the biggest advantage of the apprenticeship is being able to take a project right from the start, so the EDA, the feature engineering, and take it all over the end, where you actually deploy the model in a final product that is commercially viable. So training a model is one thing, deploying that within a commercially viable product that makes money is a whole different ball game altogether. There's so many things within that deployment that you're only gonna figure out when you actually do it. And that's experience that not a lot of people have. So if you've got that, and AI Singapore will give you that, that makes you much more appealing to employers.